Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in this video I'm going to explain why even if you buy the best EA, use the best settings, there's a good chance that you will fail. And that is because you're focusing on the wrong elements of trading and avoiding the element that matters most. And I'm going to show you which element that is in this particular video. This video could save you thousands of dollars because most traders look for the perfect settings for their EAs. They spend thousands of dollars and a huge amount of time trying to optimize the EA, find the very best settings. Sometimes they pay somebody else to do that. Sometimes they use the supplier settings and invariably they do not get the results that they anticipated. They then call the EA a scam or the supplier of the EA a scam. So what I'm going to be doing today is explaining why all of this happens. It's not rocket science. It's easy to see and you'll immediately recognize it when I show you the examples. Now one of the reasons why this failure is not discussed at all is that it cannot be managed. It cannot be controlled. And therefore, people are uncomfortable about discussing it. But it is a reality that every forex trader faces and has to deal with. It's like the elephant in the room. Nobody wants to talk about it. Now in this video, I'm going to give you a glimpse of the challenges we as EA traders face. So let's get right into it. So on the screen, you'll see one of our best performing EAs. It's the RSI Envelope EEA, and it is pretty robust. We're going to be trading the Pound CAD, which is really one of the best performing currencies there is at the moment. We're going to be using the tick method, so it says the most accurate method, and we're going to be trading the one hour chart, the, the one hour time frame. Now we're going to be trading a short period of one month. Now, why one month? Because that is the period that a trader takes to assess an EA. Often the accounts get blown before that, and I've made a video about why that happens. But generally, traders do not do the theoretical thing about trading it for two years and then deciding it was a bad, a bad EA. They will trade it for a short period and then do an assessment. And that's why I'm using a one-month period. Now, I'm going to do a couple of runs of this EA. And in all the runs, I'm going to keep keeping this, the settings exactly the same. So I'm not varying the settings. The only thing I'm going to vary, and this gives you a clue as to what determines your success as an EA trader, is I'm going to change the date at which the EA starts trading. We're going to be trading a month in each case. So the period that we're going to be trading is, is going to be the same. But all that I'm varying is the time you start trading your EA. So that is the element that people do not take into consideration. The day you start trading your EA is the most critical element of the success of your EA trading. And you'll, she, you'll see this in the example that I'll give you. So the first run that we'll do is one from the end of November to the end of December last year. Nice monthly period. So all I'll do is I'll start it. So it's going to run a little bit slowly because it's running on an every tick basis. But let's have a look at the results as they come out. Okay, all done. I'll open the results up and, and let's have a look at them. Now, if we look at these results, they are quite good. The trader started with $2,000. He pushed his $2,000 to $12,000 over that period. The uh, win rate was... Uh, reasonable 65 percent but where the money was made was that the average profit per trade at 605 was a lot more than the loss per trade of 321 so the results show a better return on successful deals 
and also a successful win percentage. Great results and, and the trader has basically increased his initial capital by 500%. Not bad for one month's trading. And as I say, this is quite a remarkable EA that we have here. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's say somebody else bought exactly the same EA. They used exactly the same settings as this person used, but they started at a different time. So let's go to the settings and I'll input a different time. So we're going to run now from the 5th of December to the 5th of January 2018. That's a month period starting five days later than the previous exercise that we just did. There we are, the results are out, and let's have a look. Okay, so there's been quite a considerable dr drop from $12,000 to $5,000. Still a very good return. The trader must be pretty happy about that. That's a 250% return, more or less. Uh, the success rate has dropped a little bit. Profit on deals have dropped a little bit, but they still bigger than the losses per deal and that that's what make this a successful strategy so what have we learned from this we've learned that your date that you start trading is more important than the settings because we did not vary the settings the only variable was the date of changing so everything else was the same the settings and, and all the rest. So just because one trader was lucky enough to start on a particular day, he made $12,000. And another trader was unlucky enough to start on a different day, and he made $5,500. This should give you an idea of how variable the EA results can be due to the day on which you start. So although the settings are important, they, the results from the same settings can vary considerably. So let's do another ex experiment and run another run using exactly the same settings, also running it for one month. So I'm going to run this one from the uh, 15th of December to the 15th of January. Yeah, that, that's two weeks later, and let's run there, run that setting. Now remember, nothing's changed. We're running the same EA, using the same settings, just two weeks later than the first run. Okay, so here are the results from that particular run. Now, there's a dramatic change. From 12,000 positive, it has now dropped down to $800 positive. It's still positive, very good return on, two, on a capital of $2,000. You're still making a huge return on your investment, but nothing has changed. You've used the same settings, the same EA, and yet the difference in results is over $11,000. So my point here is it's the same EA, it's the same settings. In one case, it's producing wonderful returns, and in the other case, it's producing mediocre, mediocre returns. Now, I can carry on, and we could most probably find a period where it makes a small loss. So it is not the EA that's to blame for these the, the this, these changing results it is not the settings that's to blame for these it's not the supplier of the eas that that's to blame so who is to blame and i'll leave that question for you to think about who will you blame if you've bought an ea and you know somebody's made twelve thousand dollars 
before using the same settings that you've just used and you end up making a loss. Who will you blame? And I can, I've just shown you the impact of using different starting dates is one of the, one of the reasons why people do not get consistent results with the EAs. Now in future videos, we're actually going to look at how do we manage the situation? What would you do, and this is something for you to think about for the next video, what would you do if you were trader one? What would you do at the end of that month? What would you do if you were trader two? What would you do at the end of the month? Would you make changes to the EA? What would you do? If you were tra trader three, what would you do at the end of the month? How could any of these traders have improved their trading? Give that some thought. We're going to deal with these things in future videos, but I wanted to make you aware that there's this huge principle that nobody talks about and nobody addresses, and that is the principle of your EA trading results are directly related to the day you choose to start trading the EA. So also, please think about who are you going to blame if your results are not in line with what was experienced previously. Now, I hope you have given you some food for thought. Please use the comments facilities uh, at the bottom of this video. Add any comments, any questions, any remarks that you have about this topic that I've raised. And any future videos that you'd like to see around this topic, how to manage it and what to do and all that type of thing. And the previous questions I asked, what would you do if you're one of those traders? Who would you blame in a case where the results might possibly go negative, where previously a trader has done 12,000 uh, 12, gain and you started three weeks later and you make a loss? Who are you blaming? going to blame? And more importantly, how can you avoid that kind of situation? Uh, please give me your input. I'll use that as guidance for my future videos. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you like the content of this video, join my channel if you haven't done so already. If you have joined my channel, click the bell so that you get notified of any future videos that I make. Uh, and from me, Alex Deploy. Cheerio.